What is up everybody? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the Madden 22 QB randomizer. Uh, boy, this is going to be interesting. We're jumping into week three against, I don't remember the team. You guys saw the, the thumbnail. You know who we're playing, but you know, why waste time? This, this is the type of video where you just jump in. So uh, yeah, let's go. Bro, we have to play the Packers. All right, here we are. And yes, we are playing Aaron Rodgers and the Packers. Boy, I'm not excited for this. Let's see what they do in their first drive. Oh, we actually stopped them? Excuse me? Aaron Rodgers. We're talking Aaron Rodgers, right? You know, whatever. All right. Let's keep the ball out of my hands to start off with. I apparently told him the crowd to shut up, even though I said spy. Hide the ball! Oh, yep. Oh, ah. Give it to wide receiver. Oh, we gained six yards. Hey, that's a that's a fantastic, fantastic run. But so let's uh talk NFL, right? There's a lot to talk in the NFL. Um, ooh, nice run. So we had the division rounds. Obviously, uh, you see the shirt I'm wearing. It'll also be in multiple videos. I record a lot of times in big groups. So do not be surprised when this is in like. Four videos, but um, yeah, uh, my Cardinals lost. It was a very, very tough time. Uh, <laughs> being that in my family, there's three teams being rooted for: the Cardinals, the Niners, and the Chiefs. Two of those teams are going into divisional round matchups. My team didn't, so boy, I get to listen to that, which is fun. But a lot of crazy things happened. We'll go past the first round, the wild card round. It's over. It's done. Let's not worry about it. By the way, we are making good, good, good timing or good, <laughs> good timing. God, I'm an idiot. Good uh, pace as we're moving down the field. But yeah, so uh, yeah, so uh, the divisional round we had the first game, Bengals Titans, and I went into it rooting for the Bengals, but thinking the Titans were gonna win. I just had that gut feeling. I was like, the Titans were gonna win it, and. Uh, Yes, I know. Trey Flowers can come back with us. Our coach's decision. I'll have to wait till like week eight. But uh, I thought the Titans were going to win. Rooting for the Bengals. The Bengals pull out the win. And I was so excited. Oh, can I throw it? Oh, oh, oh. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? What was that bowl? Yeah, but as I was going to say... Shut up, you bunch of... I am not going to insult a fan base. Are you... F <laughs> I guess I shouldn't expect much more from me. But right, so I was happy. The Bengals won. They're playing the Chiefs. I think they can knock the Chiefs off. Which will be the only way I will care about the Super Bowl at all. Other than the halftime show, which is going to be fire. Eminem, Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, Mary J. Blige... There's someone else there, and I feel like a dick for not remembering who it is. But so many legends on the halftime show. It's going to be so good. But right, so yeah, the Bengals won, and it was a last-second field goal. Which, by the Are you fucking hitting me with a... Sledgehammer, you fucking... Why do I play this series? It's... Gonna drive me to depressed crying in the corner. Why am I passing the ball? Why? God, I'm getting distracted. But right, so then the next game that was on was. What was it? Ooh, wow, we got stuffed. We lost a yard. No, we gained a yard. Okay. Um, I can't remember the next game. 
wasn't the yes it no it was Green Bay in the 49ers and Green Bay lost the team we're playing right now lost to the 49ers and I'm gonna be honest I think the entirety the entirety of the un of NFL was like the Niners are the just the 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 ultimate underdogs this year should not be winning plays or winning games and they are just beating teams way better than them. Oh, I completed a pitch. Right? Like they beat the Packers and the Cowboys at this point. If they they could go on a run and call one of the most darling Super Bowl runs ever. They could beat the Rams, but right? And they won it with a last second field goal again. The Niners once again have screwed the the Packers in the playoffs are like I don't know any other sports. Are like the Avalanche in the playoffs. Both teams should be going to the championship almost every year. Oh my god, please give that to me. Oh, oh, oh baby! Right? They should be going to the play the Super Bowl, the championship game every year. And yet both of them somehow Fuck it up. <sighs> I'm an ass fan, so that this is hurting me just talking about it. But, right? So the Packers lost, which is a shock. A complete and utter shock. Then next we have... Oh, yeah. Then we get to Sunday. That was Saturday night's game. <laughs> Saturday night, crazy. Sunday, you get the Rams beating the Bucks by a last-second field goal. And we will come back to this. Because, yes, I will talk about the I'm gonna talk about everything because we got time right oh hold on we got focus third and three I could I trying to drive us down the field trying to score a touchdown shut up pack we got all the pack here okay we're at the three we're at the three I will uh we'll finish we'll, we'll our conversation here in a second what do we go with <gasps> I dropped my controller oh god oh god everything's going wrong I guess I have to pick from this screen now because I'm too lit Come on, let's go for it, Terry. Because I'm too lazy. All right, Reynolds. Reynolds, this is all you. This is all you, baby boo. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Oh, God, I'm an idiot. Is there a Rooney play? I don't trust my character. They are blitzing me so hard. You stop that. That's so... Come on. Oh, oh he got it. Oh, ho, ho. Yeah, baby. Touchdown. That's right. Uh, alrighty. Uh, where were we? Oh, yes. The Rams beat the, the Tampa Bay for the third. There were three games in the four-game round, division round, that was just... That were, that were last-second field goals. Last-second field goals. That's nuts. That you can have that many games that are going to the last second. Oh, I'm an idiot. Right? Like, oh my god. Um, then we come to the last game. The Bills versus the Chiefs. Which, by golly, once again have proved why both those teams should be called two of the best teams in the NFL. That was a shootout that went to overtime. The Bills couldn't finish it off. They couldn't hold the Chiefs off and lose. And, oh, okay. So one of the creators I love to watch, I've become obsessed with, is a guy named Wyatt's World, a Bills fan and a Vikings fan. He was happy because the Bills made the playoffs. He was happy because Mike Zimmer got fired. I have not in a while seen a man so broken. I'm an idiot! I had a wide open... If that's an interception. Okay. Oh. All right. He's just... It's, you're broken, bro. Like... Oh. I kind of was that, but I expected it. He, ex he thought... His team actually looked like they should be able to win it, and they fucked it. My team has not looked like that. Oh. <laughs> Since, like, what? Since the Green Bay game. <laughs> so, 
Yeah. And let's see. Let's which controversy do I want to talk about first that happened? Let's start with the the one that's easier to be like it's not really controversy. Y'all are just a bunch of baby bitches. The overtime rules are fine. Oh, they should be changed. The offense are no. Why? You lost the flip. If your defense can't keep you in the game, you're out. It's been that way for years. And guess what? If your defense can't hold off the offense, then you deserve to fucking lose. Is this so wrong for you to accept your team lost? Their defense wasn't there. Why give Josh Allen a chance? If you're the, the way the rules are made right now are so perfect to be you need a defense and an offense to win the game. You cannot just sit there scoring 200 points a game and letting up 200 or 199. Like, that's not how the NFL works, guys. So just to everyone complaining about the overtime rules, just give it up, please. Like, oh. God, I was listening to that, and it just pissed me off. I'm like, why are y'all a bunch of baby back bitches about that? And then the other controversy. There is a... It's not a controversy. It's a... Uh, what everyone thinks. I'm going to give a mild take on it. I am not trying to get put out there never have worked with NFL. People, I'm going to just talk about what they're saying. I'm not going to put my two cents in. This is this part of it is not something that I feel uh, me as such a small creator with not very big fan base should be getting into. So I'll tell you about it. Everyone's talking about how it seems the NFL. There's been a lot of evidence, a lot of things put out there. Do your own research. I obviously don't. I've put in enough to know the generals what people are saying that the NFL is rigged in Tom Brady's favor. Just enough so he wins games, he can win championships. They can push Brady is God. Which, again, very much a, uh, a, uh, nope, 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 I'm gonna back up. That is what a lot of people are saying. And they're saying that since right before this game came out, a lot of people were getting on, like, uh, talking about it and saying how it's rigged. Roger Goodell made a coin flip. Not a clip, a, a switch, flipped it and told Brady, you're going to barely lose out to the Rams. Because we have way too many people talking about this. We need to make sure it's not true. People don't think it's true. They're saying that since, since they think it's rigged, that Roger Goodell told Brady that he's going to lose. They're not going to rig it in his favor. They're going to rig it in the Rams' favor, that he's just going to lose by three. That is all I'm going to say about it. If you want to learn more, do your own research. Don't just go on the conclusion of people are talking about it. It must be real. It's not how it works. Uh, until 100% proven. Uh, it's just a theory right now. It's just a th I love Matt Pat, so I know. Oh. Alright, yes. Yeah, so, Alright, back to this game. I am playing surprisingly well I have been like brain dead just going through this game why are we passing so much oh yeah because we're in a very pass heavy offense I haven't been running a lot because I've been able to get like quick passes up their defense is not playing very well I'm gonna be honest I am sitting here just kind of messing them up I don't know if messing them up is a good way I'm sitting here to back and forth I say as we are losing <laughs> Got it. Alrighty, 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 alrighty. Oh, he broke a tackle. Alright, what else to talk about? But yes, yeah, so... If you guys saw my Mock Draft V1, which V3 or V2 will be coming out, or will be... Because I saw someone ask, not... Or they asked me directly, a friend asked me. It's coming out right after the Super Bowl. So when the Super Bowl happens, I will make Mock Draft V3 because it will give me the accurate, as of then, draft positions. Um, I thought he was in the end zone, and I was like, oh my god! <laughs> uh, right? And I, 
I uh, again, the, it's, these are the two hardest mock drafts to do because you don't have any off seasons, you don't have re-signings, you don't have what teams are actually trading for quarterbacks. Like again, I have I think Denver and Pittsburgh taking Denver, Pittsburgh, and Carolina taking quarterbacks. Along with that, I think multiple quarterbacks go in the first round, if I remember right. I, I was one of the more, like, oh, that was, that, that hurt. Whatever, I'm already, I'm, <laughs> I'll be honest, I'm probably losing my job, but, yeah, no. But, um, what was I going to say? But, yeah, V3 is when I think my draft projections could actually get kind of close because then we'll get to see because again i think number one is still up in the air depending on what they do in the offseason because there's a chance they could pick up an o-lineman an o-lineman or two and then kind of go at that point uh aiden neal who i currently have going number one i think he kind of drops for them from them they 100 percent that at that point if they can get an o-lineman or two in the offseason Good O lineman, not like depth. Good O lineman, like good starting uh, O lineman. They could go Aiden Hutchinson. And my big thing is, I'm I believe Aiden Hutchinson will be the second best pass rusher in this draft. I still look at Kayvon Thibodeau as being number one. Like I still 100% like people are thinking maybe. He drops to the Giants, and the Giants take him. Then it's like the Michigan guy staying in Michigan. But, like, I don't think so. I think, to be 100% honest with you, I think the Detroit Lions take Kayvon Thibodeau. Because look at him. Like, Aiden Neal might, like, initially look good, but you just compare him, and all of a sudden, just Kayvon Thibodeau just keeps putting up these green chat marks that just make you want to go, yeah. I think that's who I would want on my team. And I think Detroit takes Kayvon Thibodeau in the first round. Definitely beefs up their defense. And I think, honestly, that, that really helps that team. Uh, starts making it so when you play, if they Rodgers is still on the Packers, uh, makes it harder to play him, makes it a lot harder to defeat him hopefully by then i can put a 40 minute episode so i'm not having to sit there and super rush through half my picks because you know i ran out of time oh jesus but yeah also that's the things i can talk about aaron Rodgers. i truly 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 believe that aaron Rodgers will be Staying in the NFL. I think there's one or two scenarios. I do not think he is going to stay in Green Bay if he does stay. I think he's going to stay in the NFL. I think he goes to another team. There's, I think the two that he'd be best fit for, the two that, like, if you're going to stay, you're going to move teams, here's the ones to go to. I say he either goes to Pittsburgh or Denver. Uh, again, if he comes to Denver, he has a lot of options. They can instantly, like, then he can't, when he comes in, they can be like, yo, you've got these good options right here at receiver. Now we're going to draft you an offensive lineman. Oh, fuck off. That dude literally just walked on air to catch that. Oh, my God. But, right, uh, but I think the other thing is he could retire. But yes, guys, here we are. We lost again. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, hit that like button. Do subscribe. Come join the fam. Come make fun of me for being bad at games. I will see you guys hopefully Friday for a tier list. Yes, because it's Tuesday. Friday is my release schedule. That's right. But hopefully I'll see you guys Friday for a tier list. I kind of have one lined up. I might record soon. Hopefully I won't be wearing this. But maybe because I like recording mass videos. But thank you guys. Boo-boo. Boo-boo. Boo-boo.
Pua.